Hey, this is YBR with Beam and G Drive, and today we're gonna try to climb up the cliff map. So previously I did a video where the goal was to go down this map without receiving any substantial damage. Now we're gonna do the exact opposite and try to climb up it. Which means we have to get to the bottom somehow. And I'm not a crazy man who's gonna try to go up and down it without getting any damage and up and down and up and down. I'm just gonna go down it wrecking up my truck because that's the easy way to go down it. And I just went backwards because I figure I always go forward. So why not go a direction that's different than we normally would? Normally, we always go forward. So we'll get a different part of the map that you don't normally see in my videos if we go backwards. That was my thought process at least. Uh, I may or may not regret it depending on what the uh, actual part of this map looks like to drive up. And we're stuck already trying to fall down it, which... May be a good thing, may not be. Like, it might be a good thing because if we got stuck, that means it's kind of a flat area. And if it's a flat area, it means you could probably drive through it better. I'm not really sure. Either way, right now, I'm not trying to save this truck. I'm just trying to go as fast as possible and flipping over when we get too fast. Like, I'm just holding the gas pedal all the way to the floor, as you can see. So I'm just like, go! Screw the truck, get damaged. And it's actually taken a little bit of time just to get to the bottom. You see, I'm just, like, I'm trying to get to the bottom, but it's taking a while. And uh, I honestly do not know if this is something that you can actually do on the map at all. I'm trying this right now to figure out if you can do it. You may be able to, you may not be able to. We'll figure it out. But to make myself have as much chance as possible to actually make it, I'll probably be using a real off-roady car, like not just the Gravel D-Series off-road edition, but something that's really off-roady, like the Baja, I mean, like, not the Baja, the Hell Jeep, or the Truggy, one of those two, those things are like some real off-roaders, that's what we'll probably use. Uh, so let's go ahead and switch over to one of those right now, whoops, hit, hit reset on the car accidentally. Uh, but let's use the Hell Jeep, because it's the first one I see, so the reason I said Baja is because it has a Baja and a crawler form. I think crawler's probably better, I don't actually know the difference, I'm assuming it's something to do with the transmissions or something, but I've never actually compared them to know. I should do something like that real quick and figure it out. Wouldn't be too hard, but not now. Now we have some mountain to climb, some cliff to climb. I think this one will be a little bit better than the Truggy for this, just because it's smaller. Well, I don't know. I really don't know. We'll just we'll just see how it works. But right now we got a hill jeep, and we are going up this thing no problem, because there's even like a little road of sorts. You see how there's this part where there's no grass and stuff? That's like a road. The only thing is, I don't know how long this road will last, because I don't remember seeing a road the whole way down. Although maybe there was a road the whole way. It's going to be really easy, right? All we're going to do is just climb this road and we're done. And I want to make this all in one run. I really do. The problem is I don't know which direction will actually work. So to really figure out how to do it in one run, I'm going to do a, like, a lot of surveying the area and just trying to figure out which way to go. Which is a little bit of cheating, but it's also a good way to actually accomplish the goal instead of failing. I mean, you could say, yeah, you can't really do that in real life, just jump out of your car and fly around to figure out where you are and where you want to go. But it is extremely helpful, because in real life, you usually have an idea of what direction you want to go. And, you know, I don't want to get myself stranded and be totally screwed up because I went a certain direction. So, so I'm just going gonna, gonna to do that. When I get to a point where it feels like uh, I'm not exactly sure where to go, we'll do that. Because, like, up there, you see, that's where the cliff is. Like up this point so far, it's like a hill, it's nothing. I didn't even need to use the manual transmission. This is the automatic, which is really, really dumb at shifting. I wanna see how bad the automatic is. I'm gonna try to go up that hill right there, and I'm 90% I'm certain it'll basically stall out trying to go up that thing. And if I flip over because the automatic transmission stalls out, that should not count. That just does not count, because that is ridiculous. But I wanna see how bad this automatic is, because. I'm looking at it, it doesn't even seem like it wants to use a gear lower than 5th gear. It's like 5th, 6th, 7th gear, that's it. And we're going about 10 miles per hour half the time when it's in 5th gear. You're telling me the other 4 gears aren't useful at all? Maybe you just don't know how to shift automatic transmission. Uh, I guess it actually is making it. I forget it would kind of just stall out and, well... I mean, it's less than ideal, because look at the way the engine's, like, up and... I'm sure I could have gone up this faster with a manual. Yeah, look. Let me do this with a manual real quick. 
Again, if I flip over here, I don't really care. Because I don't think it should count, but whatever. Because I just want to do a test. I got distracted, as you can tell. But up until this point, I had no damage, so I have no bad feelings about resetting here. Because I just wanted to try out that automatic transmission. And then if we use manual, how high up can we get, really? Well, you can tell, just going through the, the dirt and stuff right here, we're going faster. And we didn't even have the momentum. Automatic, you suck. Now let's figure out, is that really the way we want to go, though? So this is what I said, we're going to survey the area, determine which way to go, and like I said, as far as I'm concerned, that's the first life. The other one was lost due to scientific tests. Alright, so if we went straight, let's look at that first. If we went straight, you would have to go up near vertical up in this, look at this. That's like vertical almost, look, just... Yeah, I'm not going to try that way. That's just, that's too insane. That's also insane over here. Yeah, that's all insane. Kind of see a path over here, though. It's pretty, pretty steep, but I don't think it's as bad as the other one. Is there any way else to get up, though? Maybe if we drove around it? Um... That's a good option. It looks fairly straight. But the other one, I mean, it's not much easier looking than the other one we just looked at, though. I don't know how we get to this side of the mountain, so I'm not going to worry about that. That's like a long drive around, which I uh, don't want to be doing. So let's, let's check going this way. It looked pretty promising going this way. Let me actually put a, a reset right here just in case I screw up later on and have to come back. Because this way, even if I screw up, I kind of still have a way of saying you can do it with one vehicle if you go a different route from this point. Because, again, up until that point, there was absolutely not a scratch on the vehicle. Now, I know I was complaining about automatic and all that, but truth be told, I don't know what I'm doing with a manual either. It's like I, my knowledge of when to shift in a manual comes from driving a car on streets, not going through dirt and crazy mountains and stuff. Like, if I lose traction, I don't know exactly which way to shift and all that. So, don't expect nothing amazing here. Like, I just, I, all I know is when I hit red line, shift. Unless it's the we're hitting red line because we have no traction, in which case, don't. Well, maybe you should still. See, I don't know. I have no idea how to use the gearbox properly. I just kind of guess it. And depending on what my guess does, then I'll sometimes say, never mind, shift back into the previous gear. This is... Maybe we could have, this is just steeper than I thought it was. Maybe we could have gone the other way and we would have been fine. I didn't think it was going to be this steep. Get up it, get up it. Whoa. I didn't know if it was going to make that or not. Alright, again we kind of have to do like a survey of the area and figure out which direction we want to go. It looks like the best way is probably going to be like this, maybe? But I want to actually make sure I, I look around the whole area and if there's an easier way, I want to take it. So, let's go look around. Ooh, if we mess up though, man, we're falling. Yeah, this might be a little bit easier over here. It's, well, I don't know if my car could fit, though. It's thin. Over here looks... Meh, pretty... It has some steep spots. So, no on that one. You know what? Yeah, I mean... I'm thinking that, my, that probably... Whoa, 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 whoa! Your parking brake was on and everything! I thought you were good! Come on, that's, 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 that's not right. That's not right! I th that's like a relatively flat surface and your parking brake was on. How are you going to do that? Like, how are you going to flip over from here? What did you do when I was gone? Huh? What did you do? I'm wanting, I want to see you flip over again. How did you manage to flip over sitting right there? Yeah, I don't think I had him like sitting somewhere crazy or anything. I thought I sounded like right about there. I guess apparently I had him like on the edge of the cliff or something like over here or something. I don't know. That's weird. 
That should not count. I mean, like, I'm saying that for every death of the vehicle, right? Like, the car flipped over, and I say it should not count. But it's not my fault. Like, I parked it. Like, let's see. If I parked it right here, is that will that flip it? Like, even right there. Look at how steep it's sitting. That seems pretty stable. Oh, no, it is rolling just a bit. You see all the mud, the tire's kicking up. Oh, maybe because I kept it in drive. Oh, well. Well, that's a loss of a car. I might lose one right here as well. If I don't make it up... This is basically a suicide run. I don't know if I like that. It's basically, if I don't make it up, I'm going to flip backwards, probably. Or just roll down the cliff. That's a very scary idea, you know? Let's just go for it. No, no, it's not going to happen. I'm too scared. I'm too scared. We're going to try the other way I saw. That's too scary. I want to have it where it feels like I accomplished it in one car. Even if I didn't, I want it to feel like I did. And if I end up doing that a couple of times to get it upright, up there, that doesn't feel right. I want to be able to do it where it feels like one car, which means I want to go in a different location. I want to go to that one thing I saw over to the right. I mean, to the left. I think it was to the left at least. Where it looked relatively easy. Is that it right there? I think that was it. Let me uh, do a double check. Is that what I saw? Yep. Has to be. I mean, this is alternative, but that also looked kind of difficult. So, we're we'll going to do a reset right here so we have a spot for reference. If anything goes wrong, we won't use that path. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, come on. St no. This car really just wants to roll down the cliff, doesn't it? Like, all I do is reset it and it's already rolling down the cliff. And now look at all this ground I have to make up. Because the car decided to roll down the cliff. You know what? I shouldn't even be doing the reset points. I know how to cheat the car in any location I want. I should just use that as a safe spot. Just remember where I was before anything went terribly wrong. Although it's kind of too late to really think of that. That's what I should have done this whole time. And I don't know if we're going to be able to climb this after all. It looks it's a little bit more difficult. Oh, wait. Uh, never mind. Hold on. There we... Is that... Is that... Is that count? Is that it? Is that it? That's it, isn't it? That's the top. That's it. And that's how you would do it in one run, really. Like I said, there was a couple of things where the car crashed, but it wasn't like, because of the crawling over things, is because of stupid reasons that shouldn't count. That was a death. So I guess that'll do it. And because this car was so eager to fall down the cliff, there you go, car. Are you happy now? Just non-stop wanting to fall down the cliff, so you get to fall down the cliff. You know what we should try to do is we should try to do the same path with the off-road truck and see if it has a chance of doing that. Now that we know a path that does work, we'll use a weaker car and, uh try it out from there unfortunately it's a long ways to there so let's just uh let's just fly it you know I could do this I even used this to uh, figure out what route we were gonna take initially so why didn't I do that earlier for the safe spots I have no idea at all if I had to guess though I'm thinking like right about here it'll get stuck like right here the path I went if I tried I mean there might be a bit there's I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say like this is the path this is the a path I found but I'm assuming it's going to get stuck right about here. Because even right there, the Baja crawler, Jeep, hell Jeep, whatever, whatever you want to call it. I keep wanting to say Baja because the first part of its name is there's like a Baja Jeep and then there's a crawling Jeep version. I just keep wanting to say Baja. But I think it's going to get stuck right there because even that struggled there is what I was saying. So that's my guess if I had to guess. But we're going to try it out and figure it out. So we do a little bit more than just guess. So go ahead and do gravel D series. We'll get a nice color on it. Use off road red. See, let's make it a really matte red with no reflections or anything. There we are. Can it get up this at least? Oh yeah. Don't underestimate this car. It's still a decent off roader. It's just, it's not no hell jeep or no truggy. That's for sure.
It does feel like we're moving slightly slower. Maybe just a bit, or I could just be imagining it. Is this the same route or is this different? I don't remember this. This might be slightly different. Hopefully they'll reconnect the up to each other eventually. Or they might not. Like this is a totally different location. I'm just gonna get this thing kind of safe hopefully right here and it's not safe is it? Where did I do it the first time? Yeah, that's not it. That's not it. That's it. Over there. Ah, that's uh, I knew something wasn't quite right there. Whoops. Yeah. Wrong path. All I did was, I mean, I wasn't really even paying attention the first time I went down it. So I was just trying to remember. At least I could tell something was wrong. That's the important thing. I didn't like try to go the whole way like, where am I? I'm confused. I noticed something was wrong. I'm like, this ain't right. It's not right. And I fixed it. Yeah, this is the road I remember. See, it's not that steep. The other one was all steep and all grass and stuff. I'm like, this is not the road I'm thinking of. This is just, this is not it. And you know, me behind this transmission, that's that's definitely probably a less than ideal. I'm just like, yeah, third gear. Third gear's nice. And I just leave it in third gear the whole time. Yeah, second gear's nice. Leave it in second gear the whole time. No idea what I'm doing with the transmission still. So the flatter spots, no problem. Hey, doesn't that look like a set of eyes up there? Right here, one eye, two eyes. It's like a set of eyes. The mountain's watching you. The cliff is watching you. It's watching me climb it. And we'll drive all over its furs. I just drove over your face, Cliff. How do you make, how's that make you feel? Somewhere out there, there's a guy who's actually named Cliff, who's gonna be really sad that I said something like that because it's gonna be taken out of context or something. I'm sorry, Cliff. I know you're out there. I'm so sorry to you. Shout outs to you, Cliff. And not this Cliff, I mean you, Cliff. You, the Cliff that's watching this video. Is Cliff always short for Clifford? Because I do know a guy, and I only know him as Cliff, and I don't know if his full name is Clifford. I don't know. Random thoughts are going through my head right now. So here's why I think it'll get stuck. Because right here, it was just like, it was a breeze, and then we got here, and it was just like, cry. Time to cry. Oh, it actually made it through there. That was a... Well, uh-oh. Can I make it through this part, though? Ooh, this is a... Uh... Oh, no. Yeah, this is, like I said, this is where I thought I would struggle. It's definitely struggling. I want to... Keep it alive, keep it alive, keep it alive. Alright, the truck will live another attempt. If I can get turned around. Like, it is such a difficult thing to just turn around a vehicle on a cliff because you have to be sideways on the cliff and when you're sideways on the cliff boy does that vehicle want to flip over on you all right so here we go go through this section again got to keep all the momentum I can which is barely any Oh, this thing's all over the place. Well, you might be able to do this path with a truck. But you have to have some skill. Guess which YBR does not have? Yes, no skills. See? Just go down gently and we'll take one more shot at it. And then I'm going to say, you know what? I can't do it, but it's probably possible. It feels like it's one of those things where it's like, I can't do this. But I think you, if you were good at this, could. Where's the truck going? It's gonna roll over, isn't it? Don't do that. I hate when you put it in gear, it's, it keeps accelerating. Like, when I'm not hitting the gas or anything, I imagine, like, I just think, okay, maybe, like, I don't know. I'm just thinking, like, maybe the, I, I don't know, I mean, cause normally, I don't know. It's just abnormal for a game to have it where the car still gives some throttle when you have your hand totally off of the throttle. 
Like most games, it basically just says, how about it simulates a clutch in? And that's the way it works usually. It just always messes with me in Beam and Drive, how the cars just keep driving on their own. So that was a terrible approach though. Well, I'm just getting worse and worse at this, aren't I? So I guess we'll have to stop, because I am not getting any better. I'm only getting worse because I'm getting frustrated. Which is not the goal here. The goal is not to make myself angry. The goal is to try to climb the cliff. As you see by the name of the video. It's not called Get YBR Angry. It's called Climb the Cliff or something along those lines. Give it one more shot. This is the last try. I'm just going to go for it. I don't, I'm going to take a risky maneuver that I think will flip me, but we're going to go for it. Yeah, it's not happening in this thing with me. But I made it with the other car. That's what's important. So, till next time, this is my YBR. I hate you, car. Why can't you just do what I want? Get out of here and I'll see you. I mean you, the car. I'll see you. Go away. Shoo. And I'll see you guys, the viewers, next time. I never want to see you again. You failed me. Get out of here.